What is up guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are on the RX-7 and we're gonna custom make a new bonnet as I've got a V-mount in the cooler. And what happens with a V-mount is the air comes from in the bumper and it comes out through the top. And what happens if you have no vent in the bonnet is all the pressure just builds up in the engine bay and then you can't, well, it can't dissipate the heat as well on the intercooler. There's the high pressures on this side and then it just doesn't suck the air through. So what we're going to do today is cut a big hole in this bonnet. This one's aluminium, it's just a standard bonnet. I was going to wait until I got a cheap fiberglass bonnet, but I thought, I've already got this bonnet, fiberglass ones normally come out weighing more than the standard aluminium one, and I've got a TIG welder that does aluminium just over there anyway. So why not try making this bonnet work rather than having to buy a new one and having this sat around anyway. So let's get out the marker and we'll mark out a vent on the top of the bonnet. All right, so this is what we've ended up with, marked out. This bottom line follows the contour at the bottom of the bonnet. And then this side line follows the gap in the wing. So it should look all right. All we've got to do now is get the grinder out and there's no going back. All right, so that's the top cut. They went pretty straight for the grinder anyway. Now we're going to pull the bonnet off and the bits underneath. Obviously because it's got all the webbing and the standard bonnet. So we'll pull the bonnet off, uh, chop some of that out and then we'll be able to push the top bit down to meet the intercooler and we'll see where we're at. Alright, so pretty happy with that, uh, came out alright, considering we used a precision grinder. Uh, what we have to do now is chop this piece, uh, make it flat so that when we push it down, it will meet the edge of the intercooler. And also, we're going to have to bend it at about this point, because that's where the turbo sits. And if you push that down now, that's hitting the turbo. So. We'll start the bend there and then meet up with the intercooler. All right, so what we're going to do now is we've got this three inch stainless pipe clamped on where the turbo sits on the bonnet so we'll just use the pipe to bend this around and then that'll give us a nice straight bend and hopefully land us right here and I'm also gonna have to take this off and redesign them pipes because that's gonna get in the way. So this is where we're at for today. So this piece 
I'm pretty much happy with where that sits. It's only sort of one or two fins away from the back of the intercooler. Uh, it misses the turbo and it doesn't catch on the coolant tank that's behind it. So that's a bonus. I haven't got to move that either. So a little bit of a dint here where we'll just body work that out when we're painting it. But that's going to be it for today because I've got to go and do that thing called work. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, so you might notice that it is not in the morning. So I couldn't get down here today because the lad was ill. So we're down after work trying to get the bonnet finished. Uh, today we have got my old mate Snap, Crackle and Pop down with us. And we're going to do some cardboard aided design. So we've got to make these side pieces and then this front piece. We'll just trace them out on cardboard and then transfer them onto that alley sheet, uh, we'll get them tacked in and we'll go from there. Alright, so this is what we've got at the minute. So that will sit down there. And then obviously tuck up against that. I've left that piece at the top because I don't want to cut that real skinny piece out of one single piece. So I'll get this piece in and then I'll probably just finish that bit off when the bonnet's sort of off the car. Uh, and then this front piece, that'll just get put down there like that and then a plate to match up with that. Uh, this side, it's exactly the same shape. The only difference is this little bit here I've not trimmed it enough on this side, so I'll just trim that a bit on the bonnet and then I can just make two of these out of alley and they'll both fit. So that is the side panels done. Obviously it'll sit down further than that, but the bonnet's popped a little bit. Uh, these bits will just get filled in uh, later on from inside the bonnet probably. Uh, if you look underneath. So that'll just sit like that. And then all I've got to do now is make a plate for this front piece. This is probably going to be the trickiest one because it's curved on this panel and then you've got this skin in here that's going to get in the way. But we'll get the old cardboard out. I think i have uh, going to run out of length on my cardboard. Story of my life. So we'll have to probably chop Liam's box up over there and nick a bit of that. Alright, so that is the front panel done. It was easier than I imagined considering it's like a curved panel but that's all that ready to be tacked in now but what we'll do is I'll do that on another video because I've run out of time uh, so if you like this video leave us a thumbs up and if you want to check out how the bonnet gets finished and what colour we're going to paint it then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.